Time for the introductions as we send it to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Caesars Atlantic City, welcome to the famous Atlantic City Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where tonight, DeBella Entertainment and Goose and Tudor Promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Aaron M. Davis, Chairman Tony Orlando, WBC President Jose Suleiman, WBC Supervisor Ringside Chuck Williams. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest will be Craig Metcalf, Luis Rivera, and John Stewart. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Earl Morton. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red, officially weighing 100 57 and one half pounds. His professional record, 45 victories, including 24 knockouts with only two defeats and two bouts even. From Quilmes, Argentina, the two-time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Maravilla. Martinez! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing lime green trimmed with black, official weight, 156 pounds. As a professional, 39 victories, including 27 knockouts. Only one defeat from Aiken, South Carolina. The challenger, three-time world champion, Paul, the Punisher, Williams. Bobby. You're both receiving the same instruction. I expect you to obey my commands, keep your punches up, and protect yourself at all times. This is good. Touch gloves and good luck. Good luck. With nothing to get excited about the heavyweight division in this country right now, I hear all the time, what happened to those great middleweight championship rivalries we used to have in the 80s? This is what happened to them. We might be watching one right now. Close to 5,500 fans at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The rematch. Paul Williams, Sergio Martinez. Let the ride begin as Williams throws the first punch. Remember in the last fight, both men were down in round one. Mandy, what do you look for early? Well, I'm surprised that Williams is coming out so fast. Sometimes he's a slower starter, but like his last fight with Herman Centron. He's coming out, and to me, he's neutralizing the plans of Martinez because he's been the most aggressive, and Martinez was supposed to be the aggressor. It looks like it's going to be a very well competitive fight. Go, 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 go. Let's stop this, okay? Okay, let's go. Williams told us, I like rough fights. It excites me. I want people to talk about my fights years to come. Make it a blood fight. You know Martinez is willing. One of the biggest mistakes I had in the first fight I thought that Williams made was he started punches too far back, and Martinez took advantage of that counter punching. But in this fight here, it seems like Williams is fighting a little bit tighter. He's got his distance a little better. Martinez 
Steps away from that right hook. Williams trying to get a little jab working. Walk it out. Referee Earl Morton separates the two. Midway point of round one. Lancing left by Martinez. Put your arm. I stop. Top. Walk it out. Looks like Martinez. Great exchange. This is what Martinez said he wanted was to be more aggressive and try to use his shorter. Oh arms and be Look more effective by like, getting in close. It looks like he's trying to apply his superior technique, but Williams started so fast, he didn't really have the breathing room to do it yet. That's a great assessment, because he didn't give him a chance to get into his groove of being aggressive, because Williams started challenging him right away. A right and a left by Martinez on the inside. Williams holding. Martinez punching. No feeling out in round number one. Both guys going after each other. Short with the left inside from Williams. Martinez will knock most of it. Much more holding in this fight so far than in early in the first fight. Slapping left from Williams. Maybe because they're coming at each other, and so there's just not a lot of room. Side. Martinez has landed some clean punches, but uh, to me, if I was scoring, I'd give the fight round to Williams. And the way it's going, it looks like the fight is going more towards Williams' advantage. Good round, Paul. You're being alert. Your deep breath. Good round, okay? That's what I want you to do. Just let your hands go, like you're doing. But give me more head movement, okay? And give me more uppercuts, because he, he want to get down underneath everything that you're throwing. You got me? Start up top. Come down bottom and come back up top with everything. Got to have a little respect. Good. His hands is hurting. Coming from underneath. His hands is hurting. Be patient. Keep working. Be patient. Here you see, here you see Martinez come in and do exactly what he had planned to do was McCrad and Williams, you know, short punches keeping the distance where his short arms would be more effective. But I don't know if he's going to be able to sustain that for the rest of the fight at the tempo the way that Williams is going. Because Williams is used to fighting at this type of a tempo more so than Martinez. Martinez is more of a thinking type fighter. Very intelligent. Very crafty. Williams is changing the pace and making him fight a little faster than he wants to fight. And as expected, Williams was a little bit busier in round number one. They landed at the same percentage according to the comp box. That exchange gets a rise out of the crowd here in Atlantic City. Now Williams is starting to connect with clean shots. Hey, break! Step, step, walk it, walk it, walk it. Yeah, it's gonna be a hole. Not a hole. Good luck, 10. Oh. And down goes right. Williams. That was a right hand. Right hand. Williams through the left. Williams down. He's not getting up, guys. Not getting up. Eight. Nine. That is the knockout of the year, if nothing else. A sensational, shocking one punch yeah, knockout. Go. Of a normally iron chin, top notch fighter. Give me a scoop. Williams' mind was so much on the attack and aggression that he didn't even expect I'll see the punch. And that's the worst punch in the world, a punch you don't see. Medical staff attending to Paul Williams. And Sergio Martinez, emphatic. He was the king tonight as he stops Paul Williams in the second in a stunning knockout. Well, I think he's a star after this performance tonight. And this is what we need in boxing. I'm saying knockouts. We said all of these decisions are good, but they're not as exciting and as, as good for promotion of boxing as a knockout. And we haven't saw too many knockouts lately. Get a, get a stool nearby. Now they're going to 
can get Williams up in stages. Let's listen. And we're going to take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with the left. Shorter punch. Yeah, I thought it was a right. A shorter, shorter punch. And you know, this is what's so strange about boxing and so great about boxing. Williams was fighting the perfect fight, doing everything right. And just one punch out of nowhere changed the whole result. He never saw the punch. Martinez's left got there first. And Williams was out from the moment the punch hit him. Dr. Dominic Coletta and his staff got into the ring quickly to attend to him. And Sergio Martinez said he was going to knock out Paul Williams. And he lived up to his promise. And he's a star. Twenty fifth stoppage of Sir for Sergio Martinez as Paul Williams suffers only the second loss of his career. Time for the official time of the stoppage. Here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall by way of Caesars Atlantic City, the end comes with one punch at one minute, 10 seconds of round number two, the winner by knockout victory. And still, WBC middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Maravilla Martinez. It was billed as the fight of the year. It turns out to be the punch.